I'm going to introduce you to the SMS and email management in Accudent. So you know that on a patient's card, we can send SMS or we can send emails. For that, you need to have a certain number of emails and SMS validated. SMS, so you go, you go to utilities, you go to SMS credit, and you will see here how much SMS you have in credit. So we've been buying 2000 SMS. We have 1813 uh, 8, 1, 8, SMS, and we've been using 187. So we have enough SMS. And if we want more, we can request a credit of SMS. So SMS, you click here, you click here, you say, I would like 1000 SMS. It is sold by 1000 and you can send and request. The request will go to ANPA. You will be charged for that. And the price of each SMS will cost 30 fields. The SMS are quite expensive compared to the emails. So when you have a patient to, uh, uh, you have a, a, an SMS or an email to send to the patient, you can select either sending an SMS or sending an email. So the email are sent by SMTP. Why we are working on SMTP? Because SMTP will allow you to be protected. You will be sure that your emails will reach your patient. In many cases, when you send mass emails like this, a lot of them are refused and they don't go to the patient or they go to the spam and the patient can't see them. So using the SMTP system, we have to implement the SMTP for you. I mean, it's a, it's, um, there is a work behind that. When you buy um, 5,000 SMTP, you will get a number of remaining credits so you know when it's time to do it. You can make a request for credit to get more SMS, more SMTP. And in this case, when you send um, SM, uh, when you send an email, the price of the email will be for you around six fields only where you want to, to go. So uh, if I go to uh, if I go to the same patient, the same patient now he has SMS and email. And I am going to select which email and which SMS I'm going to send to him. For that, I go to SMS and the SMS are validated by the, um, the, by the, the server, which is located in the UAE based on the requirement of NABID and uh, of DHA. We have appointment reminder. I click on that. And this automatically will show you the doctor remind you your next appointment in case you cannot make it be kind enough to call and this is the telephone number of the clinic see you soon this is automated and we can send that so we have next cleaning automatic reminder for a cleaning and they can go to the clinic name and they can um, call this to take an appointment or you have a treatment follow-up let's say activation of implant and they can contact in the same way so this is for the SMS. If I go back to the patient's chart, instead of SMS, and you cannot modify that because this is implemented by the server. So email, so I click on email, and then in email, I have this list of emails, okay? And you can select what kind of email you want to send. So if it's a, a documents, let's say, you click on documents, and then this uh, email uh, template will be sent to the patient. You can send it CC to all the list of your contacts. So if you have a list of contact, you can make a CC to, to this. You can add documents. If you have documents in the history, you can add some documents, let's say a quotation or, a, on a, uh, or an invoice or claim form or post op or, um, or what kind of document you have, you can add one or several. And then you go here and you have a text. You can, of course, modify the text. And in some cases, if you want, you can also 
add uh, something like an X-ray, if you have X-ray or scanner or um, uh, X-ray image, you have an image here. So I click the image and I can send the image to the patient. Okay, so this is the way you can interfere with the email with all the data you have in your patient's uh, in, in your patient's file. You can do also a payment reminder, and this payment reminder will be this. And instead of having the amount you need to calculate here, the amount the the, the patient needs to pay is calculated automatically in the balance of the uh, patient. So all this is linked to the management of what you want to send. So, and um, and in a very short uh, future, you will have also a video consultation. This means that you will be sending the details of a consultation online to your patients, exactly like you do with Zoom or with other kind of uh, um, communicating uh, software. Okay, thank you for your attention.